challenge. Boxing is the only sport that settled with a fight. And everything everybody's talking about doesn't matter. You get tired of hearing it. You get tired of talking about it because it's fight time. That's really what it is. It's fight time right now. So um, yes. there's not much you can say. And there's not much that we want to say other than, you know, hear Michael Buffer say what he said the best. <laughs> Brendan, Dominic, and, and John Ingle have long told us about Kel's talent from a, from a young boy. Have you always seen something at Errol that, that makes you think this guy's different? Well, you know, initially we started training, I, I didn't know. But when the more when he watched him, his work ethic, the way he was beating guys and knocking them out, and his commitment to he trained seven days a week before he made the Olympics. I mean, so it was just like every day. And his commitment, like I said, for myself. You know, his father, his family, and um, you, you see it every day. You know, now it's like every day you see it, you're like, man, this is some better yeah, thought. It could be one of the best. And this is, this is, Kel Book is the guy that brings out the best fighter in all the sports. So everything you all saw before, people fall in love with him like it, and we're going to love him more now because this great guy is going to bring out greatness in hell. It's the litmus test for your man, Errol Spence Jr. What happens on Saturday night? Yeah, we, we come out victorious, and like the guy said, he's too green. It doesn't matter who you fought to this point, because who did Leon Spence fight before he beat Muhammad Ali? Nobody. people are cheering. Man down. Man down. Man down. Let's bring Dominic Ingle in. Uh, obviously, Kells. Oh, you're going to get that work, head man. Trainer. I know you're 